I'm Mrs. D and welcome to our presentation of the Stations of the Cross. Usually the stations are a walking prayer so that we can feel like we're right there with Jesus on his journey to the cross. Sometimes it's nice to have different forms of prayer, like the rosary where you touch beads as you pray, or the stations as you walk <clears throat> from picture to picture as you pray. For the stations, churches have pictures of each event, and as you hear the story, you walk to them and see, um, watch the story unfold. And today, I'm, but today I'm going to show you the pictures on the screen. The stations are often done during Lent because they're about Jesus' death, which is what we remember during the season of Lent. We all know what comes after Jesus' death, the resurrection. So we know the story doesn't end sadly. But for the characters in the story, they were living at the same time as Jesus. So they didn't understand that the story actually has a good ending. So right now, I want you to pretend you're in Jerusalem during the same time that Jesus lived. Transport yourself from chilly Michigan to the Middle East where it is sunny and warm and even a little bit hot. Everyone is getting ready for a big celebration. They are celebrating the Passover when the angel of death passed over the houses that the Israelites had marked with blood. People are preparing for a big feast. They are cooking fancy foods, cleaning their houses, and getting ready to go to the synagogue to worship. Many of the Jews in Jerusalem here have heard about a wandering preacher named Jesus. The people who follow this man, Jesus, really love him, but he scares a lot of people too. He has made the leaders of the temple very angry because he says he's the son of God. The leaders say that can't be true. Jesus has also made the Romans angry because people say that he is the king of the Jews, and the Romans believe there can be no other king than a Roman one. Last Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. His followers lined the road, waving palms and cheering Hosanna. Some people thought he looked like a king. That made both the Jewish leaders and the Roman ones angry and worried about what Jesus would do next. I heard that Jesus was arrested last night in the Garden of Gethsemane. I'm kind of curious because as far as I can tell, Jesus hasn't done anything wrong. He preaches about peace and taking care of the poor. Those are good things. I think the soldiers will let him go. So let's go to Pilate's palace. That's where the soldiers have taken him. I bet we'll be able to see them release Jesus. Station one, Jesus is condemned to death. Oh my goodness, they aren't going to release Jesus after all. They've tied his hands together. Why did they do that? The people in the crowd yell that they want Jesus crucified. They want to see Jesus die. Now the soldiers are putting a crown of thorn on Jesus' head. They say that if Jesus is a king, he needs a crown. Look at the blood the thorns have drawn. Jesus must have a real headache. Jesus, I'm so sorry for all the times I have teased people in a mean way or made fun of them. Please forgive me. Amen. Station two, Jesus receives the cross. Look, they've dragged Jesus away from Pilate's palace to one of the city gates. The soldiers untie his hands. Maybe they're going to release him now. That would be great. No, they've just thrown a heavy piece of wood onto his shoulders. I can't believe it. Poor Jesus. He's tired because he's been up all night. His wounds are still bleeding, and now he has to carry a 150-pound piece of his cross. But Jesus shifts his shoulders and he stands up under the weight of the wood. Thank you for bearing my burden, Jesus. Amen. Station three, Jesus falls for the first time. Oh no, Jesus just tripped on a loose cobblestones and he couldn't stop himself from falling. When Jesus hit the ground, the wooden bar on his back slipped. I don't know if he'll be able to get up. All the people on the road who made fun of Jesus are no better than the soldiers who point their swords at him. Jesus, help me to build people up instead of making fun of them. Station four, Jesus sees his mother Mary. But Jesus did it. He grabbed hold of the cross and he stood back up. There he goes. Jesus is moving forward again. I think Jesus saw someone special. He looks so peaceful. Oh, it's his mother, Mary. She is whispering something. 
I think she's telling him how much she loves him. Jesus looks back to the road again. He knows he has a job to do. Thank you, Mary, for comforting Jesus and comforting me when I need it. Amen. Station 5, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. I can tell Jesus is dizzy because his head wobbles. The soldiers look worried. They're afraid Jesus won't make it all the way to Calvary. The soldiers grab a man from the street. I don't think the man wants to help, but one of the soldiers waves his sword in the air and the man drops his head and steps behind Jesus. He picks up one end of the wooden beam. The crowd whispers that the man's name is Simon of Cyrene. He's visiting the city for Passover. When he saw a crowd on the street, Simon came to see what the fuss was all about. Simon might not want to be on the street right now, but I'm so glad Jesus has some help. Dear Jesus, who can I help like Simon helped you? Amen. Station 6. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. It's so hot right now. I think Jesus must be thirsty. There's sweat dripping from his forehead. I wish I could do something to help. Oh, look, a woman is going out to help Jesus. She wipes his face with a cloth. I think she also gave him a drink of water. The soldiers push her back, but Jesus smiles at her and says, thank you. The woman looks down at the cloth and then raises it for everyone to see. Oh my gosh, the cloth she's used to wipe Jesus's face has a picture of him on it. It's a miracle. That's Veronica, the woman standing next to me whispers. She loves Jesus very much. Jesus, help me be brave in my love for others like Veronica was for you. Amen. Station seven, Jesus falls for the second time. Jesus moves more and more slowly. His legs weave in the street. I'm sure he has a headache and his cuts are still bleeding. Oh no, Jesus just fell again. He is crumpled in the middle of the road. Those awful soldiers, they aren't going to let anyone help him up, not even Simon. Jesus, give me the courage to help anyone who needs my assistance. Amen. Chat, uh, station 8. Jesus sees the women of Jerusalem. Jesus struggles for a moment, but he manages to get up. He knows he has to finish this journey. Just as Jesus stands, he sees a group of women. They aren't the 12 apostles, but these women are some of Jesus's friends too. They are wiping tears from their eyes. They must feel like I do, that this afternoon is absolutely awful. Jesus tries to make them feel better. He reaches out to touch them. I can't hear what he says, but it looks like it's okay. I'm going to be with God. Jesus, thank you for never deserting me. Amen. Station 9, Jesus falls for a third time. When Jesus pauses, the soldiers yell at him to keep going. He tries to continue, but his ankle twists and he falls for a third time. The soldiers point the tips of their spears at him and try to force him to stand up. Jesus struggles, but he can't get up. Oh, how I wish I could do something. Jesus, what can I do for you? Amen. Station 10, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Slowly, Jesus rises again. He leans on his cross before he lifts the wood to his back. Simon catches the end of the beam. Jesus shuffles forward and Simon follows from behind. Before the soldiers crucify Jesus and the other criminals, they take Jesus' clothes. Jesus closes his eyes and moves his cracked lips to pray. Not only have the soldiers taken all of Jesus' clothes, but now they are rolling dice. The highest number will get to keep Jesus' dirty robe. Jesus, help me to remember to pray when things feel awful. Amen. Station 11, Jesus is nailed to the cross. They did it. They put Jesus on the cross. It's noon, so the sun is high. Sweat pours off Jesus' forehead. Jesus asks for water, and the soldiers raise a sponge soaked with vinegar to his lips. Now we wait. There's nothing to do now but wait for Jesus to die. Jesus, thank you for hanging on that cross. Help me to do hard things just like you. Amen. 
Station 12, Jesus Dies on the Cross. The ground shakes. It has gotten dark even though it is the middle of the day. There is a lot of whispering. People know that someone very special has died. Help me to remember just how special you are, Jesus. Amen. Station 13, Jesus is taken down from the cross. There's a problem. There's no place to bury Jesus' body. It looks like he will just get thrown to the ground somewhere. Wait, look, Jesus' friend Joseph of Arimathea takes the body from the cross and he lays it in his mother Mary's arms. She's still with him. A man in the crowd saw Joseph ask Pilate if he could bury Jesus' body properly. Jesus, thank you for my friends who work hard to do what is right. Amen. Station 14. Jesus is placed in the tomb. Joseph has a burial cave they can use to bury Jesus. Joseph and the women need to get Jesus there before dark because the Jews can't bury anyone when the Sabbath begins tonight. The women and the Joseph carry Jesus' body to the cave. They roll the stone in front of the opening so nothing can get in. When the Sabbath is over, they will go back to prepare Jesus' body properly. Jesus, even when things are dark like your burial cave, be with me so I don't get scared. Amen. So there are stations of the cross in almost every Catholic church. Sometimes there are pictures, sometimes there are statues, and sometimes there's stained glass. They can be all kinds of things. So the next time you're in church, take a minute and find the stations and see if you recognize any of the scenes we've talked about here today. Do you know which of the stations this one is? This one is station five. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. So during Holy Week, we will celebrate Palm Sunday and then Holy Thursday when Jesus instituted the um, Eucharist at the Last Supper. We'll celebrate Good Friday, which are all the events we've been talking about today in the stations. And Holy Saturday. And on Holy Saturday, we wait and we wait and we wait for Easter and the resurrection. And I hope you'll join me back here for Children's Liturgy of the Word so we can talk about Easter.